here it is a very good morning to you all how are you yes i hope all of you are fine at your sweet home with your near and dear ones dear all are you cautious regarding the fact that the whole world is going through corona pandemic yes dear kids you need to be careful each and every moment due to lockdown we are taking your online class before starting our today's lesson i would like to remind you what we learned in our previous class yes in the previous class we discussed about narration and how to change narration from direct to indirect form and today i'll be discussing about curriculum vitae now i'd like to tell you the learning outcome of today's lesson that is what you will be able to know after the lesson will be finished at first you will be able to grasp some new vocabularies then you will be able to know how to write a curriculum vitae with a cover letter and finally and most importantly you will be able to understand the proper ways of preparing a curriculum vitae in their real life while applying for a job okay dear kids the question can be write a cv or curriculum vitae with a cover letter First of all you need to know what cover letter is Yes dear kids cover letter is the application which you have to write for applying for a post and this cover letter will generally be included in one page okay though the slides are more than one first of all you need to write down date at the left corner say for example 19 june 2020 dear all though you know how to use punctuation still i am reminding you that if you write down the date that is 19 at the beginning and then the name of the month that is june in the middle you don't have to use any comma in between the name of the month and the name of the year that is in between june and 2020 but if you write down the name of the month at the beginning and the date in the middle then in between the date and the year you will have to use a comma like june 19 comma 2020 okay dear kids now you have to write down your application to the managing director so after writing date give a space then managing director the name of the company or the institution like milan group of industries then address like harwan bazar dhaka next again give space and then write down your subject that is applying for the post of an executive in management sector dear all this subject can be anything that is applying for any post you will just use this format okay after that 
give a space again and then write down dear sir in response to your recent advertisement for recruiting in the above mentioned post i am furnishing my application and cv for your kind consideration at present i'm working at mazino group of industries as an executive in management sector now I feel like blooming my career in a better place. Dear all, this is the format that you need to follow, but there are some flexibilities that you can attain. And you must write down the true statement, like if you have been working at any other company or any other institution, you will write down that and if you are a fresher that is you are writing a resume then no need to write down that you are or you have been working somewhere else now at last the common line that is after giving a space you will write down I am looking forward to meeting you for an interview at any convenient time. Dear all, see the format. It's the almost same as the format of normal application. And here, observe a grammatical rule. That is, after looking forward to, you need to add ing with the verb. Though, normally after two we use the base form of verb and here we can see the line let me read out it again i am looking forward to meeting you for an interview at any convenient time and then again give space then yours sincerely and write down the name like Abdullah Al Nain. Dear cadets, as our cover letter is done, we'll have to start writing our CV or curriculum vitae. At first, at the left corner, write down your full name in the capital letter. Then give space. After that, write down your cell number. After this, you can also write down your email ID, okay? And next, see the space. At the right corner, you have to attach your photo, okay? After that, just maintain parallelism here for the space and then give a space again write down your career objective that is what do you want to do in this job so write down your career objective in a lucid and comprehensive way so that it can attract those people who will give you the job okay so write down to seek a challenging profession which ensures an environment to learn and work honestly with the utmost efficiency as a dynamic executive in management and marketing sectors utilizing my entrepreneurial thoughts viewing to blend the practical knowledge into practice Now, write down your educational qualification. Dear kids, be careful that you will write it down not chronologically. That is, you will not write down your degrees in the following way that at first you cannot write SSC, then HSC, then BA, then MA. Rather, 
you will have to go backward. For example, at first, you will have to write down the latest degree that you have achieved. Like you, if you have achieved PhD or MPhil, then you will have to write down that at the very beginning. And then your post-graduation, then graduation, then higher secondary, and at last, secondary. So, see the format. You'll have to follow this. That is, draw a table in which there will be five columns and rows will be increased proportionately to your degrees, okay? If you have more degrees, the rows will increase. If you have less degree, then the rows will decrease automatically. So at first, you'll have to write down degree in the first column, then specialization in the second column, then board or university in the third column, then year of passing in the fourth column, and finally your CGPA or GPA in the fifth column. Dear all, see the table. At first, MA, that is Master of Arts, specialization English literature. It can be anything that is which goes with the search for your job. Okay. Next, the name of board or university, what you will be going to attain that you will give here. Next year of passing 2017 and then GPA or CGPA 3.63. It's like this. So follow this format. And this format will throw a glimpse to the reader. Next, write down your technical skills that you have. As for example, you may write down successfully completed computer training program on introduction to office application and Unicode Bangla in the year 2016 in Bangladesh under Bangladesh Computer Council and funded by Bangladesh government. Next, give a space and write down office program that you have already learned. Those can be Microsoft Office Word, MS Excel, Microsoft Access, MS PowerPoint. Now, write down your type of skill, that is, in which languages you are expert in typing. These are definitely Bangla and English. That is, your skill is good. If it is outstanding, then you must write down outstanding in the bracket. Then again, give a space and write down your achievement or participation. As for example, Achieved runners-up trophy in cricket match at the divisional level in the year 2016. Number two, achieved champion trophy in the inter-department volleyball competition at the University of Borishal in the year 2016. Actively participated in the international seminar on the topic teaching literature in the peripheral universities organized by the Department of English of the University of Borishal in the year 2015. Next, I have presented my paper on the topic Bengali adaptation of the voice of Browning in the poems of Asan Habib. Dear cadets, 
again observe it very very carefully that here also you can see that i have made the success or participation that i have or the person who has written the curriculum vitae has given his latest participation at the beginning and then chronologically that is he is going this backward at the beginning it has been given the participation or achievement in 2016 then 2015 in this way it will go backward next let's come to your personal profile here after writing the terms personal profile you will write down full name and then your father's name then mother's name then present and permanent address dear all notice one thing that the column must be maintained or the parallelism must be maintained you cannot write it down haphazardly that is after writing full name you have just written the name or after writing your father's name you have just written your father's name in a haphazard way no your parallelism must be maintained here that is the colons must be in a straight line that you can see here it must be in a straight line so that it looks neat and clean okay and while writing present and permanent address if both are same you can write them down together and if they are not same then you need to write them separately so see the format at first you need to write down the name of the village if there is road number or house number that you must write down first but you don't have so you don't need to write down so at first village then po for post office then up for union parishad then district now write down your date of birth then place of birth then nationality then caste or religion then gender then marital status dear all while writing down your marital status never write down unmarried if you are married it's all right write down married if you are not married then write down single because while you are writing down the antonym of a term or you are using an as a prefix that seems to a negative term and do not use so for this reason you must write down single next your national id number next language is known that is what are the languages that you can speak out after that your hobbies and interest okay it can be many things like reading books traveling watching movies making new friends and sports if you have many more you must write them down after that strength what is your strength that is normally not present in others so your strength can be hard working strong leadership strictly maintaining time and ability to adjust with new situations and new people very easily and good management dear all a funny thing is that you can also write down your weakness and your weakness can be just same as your strength like trust people too easily it can be okay at the end you need to write down a note just after giving a space 
So the note will be all the above information is true to the best of my knowledge. Then you will write down the date in which you have written your curriculum vitae. So the format can be like this. Dear all, there is a silly mistake. Can you understand that? Okay, dear cadets, I'm keeping it for you, which is intentionally made. What is the mistake in this date that doesn't go with this curriculum vitae? That you must find out and let me know in the comment section, okay? Next, please. Please, here you will write down the name of your district, give a comma, then the name of your country. It's definitely Bangladesh, right? And then write down references. At least two references you must give. That references include university teacher or Bangladesh civil service officers. So, the format can be in the following way, like the name of the person, his designation. Again, if he has any more designations, then his name of institution, then his cell number. Then reference number two, it will follow the same format as reference number one. Dear all, for your practical life, you need to keep it in your mind that you must write down the references of those people who know you clearly. That is, who has close relationship with you. If you write down the name of such a person who cannot recognize you, that will harm you the or that will hamper you in getting the job because the people who are going to give you the job will not trust you. So keep it in your mind. Next again write down your name and date and give a space write down applicant signature on it you will give your signature. Dear all, that's all for our today's lesson on curriculum vitae. Your homework is, you must write down the example, that is, what you have taught, what you have learned today regarding CV or curriculum vitae. Okay? Your question pattern is, in the question, it will come, write a CV with a cover letter in order to apply for the post of executive director in a renowned company. Dear all, in the question, it may be given that suppose you are Rashid or Rashida. So here you are applying for the post of something and now write down a CV with a cover letter. So, if the name is given here, you must use that name. And if it is not given here, you must use X or Y, okay? So that's all for our today's class. I hope I could make the points clear. If you have any query, there is always option open for you. You must ask your problems and solve it soon in the comment section, okay? You must write down your problems in the comment section. I'll try to answer that. And there are other options through which you can communicate with us and solve your problems. I hope you all will be fine at your home. Dear all, before ending our today's class, I'd like to remind you the fact again that 
be very, very careful regarding corona pandemic. Do not go outside. And if you have dire need to go outside, please use mask and gloves. Wash your hands frequently with hand sanitizer. Be cautious, make your family and friends cautious. Please take care of your younger children and the old people who are living in your house. Dear all, listen to your parents, study carefully, seriously and sincerely. I hope we all will meet soon at your beloved alma mater once the world will recover itself from this pandemic. I hope so far you will be fine. With this, I'd like to conclude here. Stay fine, stay safe, stay home. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.